How do you do, my friends abundant, here and there and everywhere? I am Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business, and our adventure today has uncommon, uncommon nature. Let us consider these two metal plates with very smooth faces. If they were as smooth as I'd like to have them, we would call them optically smooth, but that is very difficult to obtain. But let's say they're smooth, very smooth. I put them face to face, lap them as we say, and if they were very smooth and very clean, which they are not, I would find it difficult to pull them apart. In fact, I feel a little difficulty even now. Little. Now, what do I propose to do? I propose to put a drop of water on one plate. I picked up a drop of water. Notice I picked up two gases here. Two gases I need. Good. I'll, I'll put a little more than a drop so you'll see it. I have put a drop of water. One drop. Just so big. How big? Just so big that when I flatten it out... Oh, that's very nice, slippery. When I flatten it out, it has become the thinnest layer of water that I could have. The thinnest. Now, how thin could the thinnest layer of water be? Answer, one molecule thick. One molecule. So let's imagine I have done that. Now, because of the surface tension of water, what do I mean by that? Have you not seen little bugs run around on the surface of a quiet pond without getting their feet wet? Yeah. Surface tension holds them up. Here's a little bug, and he's running around on the water, and what he does is make a little dimple in the water with his foot, and the surface tension doesn't break, the membrane there does not break, and he keeps his feet dry. Oh, and that leads me to tell you a little story. I'll tell you a little story about a certain little bug in Australia, which is a wonderful little creature. But anyway, more to this. So supposing I make that a monomolecular layer thick, and then I, well, I find it difficult even now. Oh, yes, to pull them apart. How much force would it take to separate these two plates if I accomplish what I said, namely, a monomolecular layer thick. I'm going to tell you, and it will astonish you. For those two plates, as big perhaps as the sauce cup and the, the saucers in a cup and saucer thing, those two plates, a monomolecular layer of water between them, it would take 2,500 tons to pull them apart. And you're going to say, why, that's madness, Professor. No, I will show you quickly the formula that tells us what the force is to pull those plates apart. It is two times the area of the faces, there are two faces, times the surface tension of water divided by the thickness of the film. Now, the thickness of the film, one molecule thick, is 10 to the minus 8 centimeters. You know what that is. That's 100 millionth of a centimeter thick. A hundred millionth. And when you put those numbers in there, you know the area of the plates, you know the surface tension of water, and you know now the thickness, you get 2,500 tons holding those plates together. It is incredible. The forces of nature, so enormous. Now, since I started hinting at this little bug in Australia, I'm going to have to tell you a story in the next program of a little bug which over the millennia, the centuries, the thousands and millions of years has developed a protective mechanism to keep him from being eaten up by predators who pursue him on the water. And let's imagine this is a predator who is running after him with open mouth to devour him. I say it's wonderful, and I shall tell you it next time.